Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is Scott Fortunoff here, the owner of Jeff Tex. And uh, today I'm going to review the, uh, let's call them the May 2020 collections from Henry Glass Fabrics. I am the vice president of Henry Glass Fabrics. Uh, unfortunately, Larry didn't have uh, the capabilities to do this right now. So I'm going to take the, the reins and do the honors. So let's get right to it. Uh, we're starting out with Easter Fun by Hells Kupladich. And if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you will see the 90th anniversary. Uh, if you're not aware of that, for every, if you're a shop owner, for every nine bolt order or nine bolt increment order, it, in other words, if it's 18 or 27, you will get a ticket for every nine bolts. So nine, you'll get one ticket, 18, you'll get two, and so on uh, through the end of the year. And then we will have a a raffle where we pick out prizes, pick out the winners, and the winners will get prizes. On the right side here, you'll see um, the 12 SKUs. The collection has 12 SKUs total, and this line ships on November of 2020. If you want a full collection, you will need your order in by October 1st. That would be a smaller than 15 yard full collection, so it would be 12 a 12 yard full collection. And here on the right side, you get a little idea of what the line looks like, and you get a picture of Hells Kubladich, who is the designer of this lovely Easter collection. So out here on the left side, uh, we have the Easter Fun panel, and it says Happy Easter, Welcome Spring, 24-inch panel, which is two-thirds of a yard, and you could strip out the top and use the Happy Easter words, or and, then, and or cut out the middle and use that portion, or use the whole thing uh, in one full swoop. On the next page on the right side, you have a all over toss of the bunnies with all the little Easter motifs, a little carrot print on yellow and the same carrot print on an aqua color. And then the second coloration of the all over bunny print with the Easter motifs on it. Next page, we have the stripe and the stripe, as you can see on the bottom, it says full stripe repeats four times, selvage to selvage. And then here on the next page on the right side, we have Easter eggs, little chicks, a cute little flower on a blue ground and one on a pink and then a little uh, plaid or check. And then on the bottom here, we include the Modern Melody Basics. These are 10 yard put ups. And I just happen to have the color card here to show you. So this is a basic that we've had all the, you know, for a really long time now. It's pattern 1063. It's by First Blush Studio. It's in 28 colors and you could get a quick look at them here. And we have these all the time. So you could rely on these and utilize them in your shop. and for free projects or what have you for any projects. Uh, on the last page here, we have another panel and this one has these different blocks that, that are really great because you could cut those out. And then, you know, this is very useful fabric here. Uh, you could also strip out the top or the bottom or just use it all in one piece. On the right side here, we have the free project. And just in case you were wondering, you could go to www.henryglassfabrics.net and there you could find tons of free projects that are there for you to use. So please enjoy. And there you go. Uh, the free project here uses the panel and it uses the whole thing. They didn't strip out the words or anything like that. Looks lovely to me. Moving on, another free project. And this project uh, does not use the panel. It just cuts out the square. They, they um, did a piece quilt cutting out the squares. Came out really nice. And then on the last page here on the right side, you could see how many rows you're gonna get on the stripe. The next collection we have is Farm to Market. This is by Jan Mott of Crane Design. Uh, this is a 15 SKU collection that ships October, 2020. So if you want a full collection in 12s, we would need your order by September 1st. There you have a picture of Jane Mott and an idea of what the collection is going to look like. On the left side here, we start with the stripe. Adorable, you know, farm, farm stripe with roosters. Roosters are great motifs for us in the quilting world. And then you move on to the right hand uh, side here, you have an all over toss with the roosters and a couple of little motifs from the farm, including um, a bucket of apples and a little wheelbarrow and things of that nature. Below we have a little, uh, let's call it a scenic with, you know, it looks kind of like a map situation where, you know, the houses are uh, around the neighborhood or through the town or in the valley, whatever. And then on the right side here, we have the corn. On the next page, we have a 24 inch panel, lovely panel with the um, rooster and some of the um, farm motifs in the forefront. And then in the background, in the distance, you could see the farm and the farmland. Very nice job. 
Uh, on the right hand side, we have the rooster uh, all over toss. On the black ground, we have a couple of little floral uh, ditzies, and then you have some smaller florals down at the bottom. So in the middle, we have the medium sized florals, and then we go to the very small, uh, both serving their purposes for quilt making. And then last but not least, we have a, um, a, an engineered print, and this is a um, farm to market apron, uh, which is great. It's a one yard cut and everything, all the instructions are there for you to follow. It might require a couple items. It's too small for me to read. I assume usually there's string or thread or batting or something. These probably don't require batting, uh, but I imagine they require something more than just uh, the panel. So that is a one yard panel. And this is a great item that uh, in your quilt shop, you could just bag it or hang it on a little um, hanger. And this is a great item, takeaway, uh, easy item for someone who cooks a lot to make and use in their kitchen. Then on the next page here, we have a quilt. This one is designed by Lisa Lessel. And this one uses that panel in, uh, right in the center. This is the one with the farm in the background and the rooster in the forefront with the other um, farm motifs. On the last page here, um, you, uh, another beautiful quilt, a piece quilt. And this one uses out uh, you know, a whole bunch of different squares they cut out and on the top and the bottom, it has the, the beautiful stripe that they stripped out. Nice job here. And then on the last page on the right side, you could just see the actual size of the stripe. So you could have a reference for that. Next, we have Folk Art Flannels 4. This is 100% cotton two-ply flannel by One Sister Designs. It's a 21 skew collection and this ships September of 2020. So if you want a full collection of 12 yard cuts, you would need to have your order in by October 1st. And there you see the one sister, Janet Ray Nesbitt on the right hand side. And you could get an idea of what uh, the line skews look like. On the next page, oops, on the next page, uh, you could see just an array of the skews that she has. Uh, this is the two ply flannel. I just wanted to be clear about that. So you all know uh, the two ply flannel is you know, it's really luscious, really warm, great to work with. Uh, the hand is just amazing. So here on the left side, on the left hand side, we have this print with the different words and then some wintry motifs. And then to the right, you have the green ground, a little smaller um, pine trees. And then we go down to these, uh, this looks like a little uh, decorative print with little uh, designs in it. And then you have your little, uh, your little, uh, uh, wheat like a wheat um a little piece of wheat sorry i don't live in the country so i'm i'm struggling here uh to be honest and then here we have the pine cone tree a little geometric with the triangles um not triangles those are um you know more uh squares on the side uh parallelograms or something like that and then we have the triangles on the bottom and then on the top right here we have the blue version of most of the same designs that are on the left so you have the print with the words and the motifs and then the little uh, pine trees, the little uh, parallelograms are, I'm, I'm stuck with that word now, and then the little pieces of wheat, the pine trees and a little geometric and the triang triangles. All right, uh, next up here on the back side, you have the third colorway of the beige, which so you have the words and the uh, winter, um, you know, the outdoor motifs, you have the little pine trees, uh, the geometrics on the green, the little piece of wheat, the pine trees, uh, a close up of the pine trees and the pine cones. And then you have the parallelogram again and your triangles. And there you have it. And then over here on the right hand side page up towards the left side, it says the previous collections by Janet Ray Nesbitt, Folk Art Flannels 2 and 3 and Best of Days. So that's kind of a way for you to say uh, you know, if you're talking to the rep and you want to know if you've done well with their lines before, the, the lines are there. So if there's a line that Janet Ray Nesbitt designed that you did well with, you might want to go with this one and take a calculated risk. And then last but not least, this beautiful quilt on the back, a piece quilt using this flannel, which I'm sure will look amazing in any bedroom. The next collection we have is Garden Inspirations. That one is by Jane Allison. This is a 13 skew collection ships November 2020. Uh, there is a picture of Jane Allison. Doesn't really look like her. I've never met her, so I'm not sure, but cute nonetheless. And then you can see how the fabric is going to look on the bolt. 
So, uh, you know, as the name implies, uh, garden inspirations, you have a lot of inspirational words uh, pertaining to the garden. So here we have do small things with great love, let your light shine, love never gives up, and so on. You can read the rest of that. And those are the uh, words that we have on this 24 inch panel. And now I'm gonna go to the next page and you have these beautiful roses, little butterflies, very soft line, and then a range of some, uh, a little viney pink, uh, purple flower, and then these very small uh, purple and reddish flowers. And then again, you go back down to the lower left where you have some more spread out larger flowers and your little leaves. And then on the top right hand side, you have the other coloration of the, the more spread out flowers. This time it's on the yellow. And then we toss the words up and then you have uh, some basics, the mel modern melody basics, which I showed you, and the folio basics. The folio are 10 yard cuts. That is a line we've had even longer than the modern melody. And coincidentally, I have the card here. So you could see this is really a great basic for Henry Glass, these nice little lines, uh, nice little vines, little vine design. And there you have it. And there are, um, these are 10 yard double and roll and they're 52 different colors. So 10 yard cuts is a great deal uh, because you could get you know, a nice range of these and then order them back as need be. Then up here on the next page on the top, more quotes, uh, garden inspirations, wisdom begins in wonder and from Socrates and some other, uh, here's one from Shakespeare, you shall see wonders. And then we have this little uh, yellow brown floral this packed rose print, which is lovely, peach color, and then this very soft plaid. And then here on the right side, we go to um, the free project, which they use the words and they cut those blocks out of the words and use it there. Nice quilt for garden inspiration. And then on the last page, you can see the size of those squares. They're 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Heart and Soul by Barb Tortolo. This is a 10 skew collection that ships November 2020. And there's a picture of Barb. I've actually met Barb. She's a lovely woman. I've seen her at Quilt Market. And then you can see how the fabric's going to look on the bolts in your shop. Really, they did a nice job putting that together. And then you start off on the right-hand side with these beautiful packed pink and, you know, and red roses. They are quite lovely. Definitely great for Valentine's Day or your loved one or just for a beautiful quilt. Then we move down. We have these little hearts, um, you know, on this kind of medallion ground. And then you have these cute little fun uh, pink and red different shape hearts on the right side. And then you have the other colorway of the medallions with the hearts tossed uh, throughout that. Uh, on the next page on the top, we have a uh, repeating block design. So running yardage, we call that. It's a 24 inch repeat. So this will repeat, this goes here and here, and then you'll see it again below and that'll keep repeating as you go down the fabric. I love how the way on the uh, border, they put these lovely stri um, butterflies just kind of floating out there. Uh, I'm sure you all could find great uses for that. Um, it looks fun. And then down here on the bottom row, we have this uh, kind of monotone floral, these silhouettes, uh, the hearts on the white ground that you saw earlier on the pink ground, and then these lovely birds. Look at that yellow bird and the turquoise bird. They're just beautiful floating through the air with a couple of hearts floating around and some uh, very subtle hearts in the background. And then lastly, we have the folio basics that coordinate with this line. And then you have on the last page, these uh, larger hearts with kind of a lacy, um, lacy form. And then below that, you have the blue ground with those beautiful birds floating around and hearts in the background and a couple more colors of modern melody. And here we have the, the free project, Heart and Soul Quilt One. This is a piece quilt. And then uh, lastly here, we're just showing you the blocks that are 10 and three quarters by 10 and three quarters. Next up for all you guys celebrating St. Patty's Day or just looking for some cute fun designs. This one is called Pot of Gold by City Art Studio, 10 skew collection, shipping November, 2020. On the left side, you could see the City Art Studio logo. And you could also see how the fabric is going to look on the bolt. It came out really nice. So on the right-hand side, we have the 24-inch St. Patty's, uh, Happy St. Patty's uh, panel. Really fun. And, you know, guys just having fun with the coins on the rainbow and the little fairy in the right-hand corner. Uh, more on the top left, you have the little leprechauns playing 
in, with the gold, then you have your little gold coins and your four leaf clovers, the little um, leprechaun hat and more of the pots of gold in a toss, more of the four leaf clovers because there's nothing that sells more than four leaf clovers on St. Patrick's Day. So we have them on white, green, and black. Then you have a lovely plaid uh, with the green and yellow, and then finally the uh, leprechauns in their little poses. Uh, the free project is a quilt that uses the panel right in the center. Really nice quilt for St. Patty's Day. And if you're celebrating, this one has your name all over it. So this next line is called Priscilla's Pretty Plaids. This is by new designers Priscilla Blaine and Chelsea Carter. And uh, they have a thing here, it says on the right, stitching, stitching with the housewives. So this is a mother-daughter duo. Uh, they brought their love of cross-stitching together on their YouTube channel, Stitching with the Housewives, where they share outside the box, finishing te techniques, decorating, and quilting. This is a six skew collection, ships uh, September of 2020. And here you have it. Very simple, just really fun, nice uh, plaids. And they did a good job. And I think these are going to do really nicely and probably will survive as a basic. Uh, Bob Giordano is back with a new line. He's usually, uh, you know, he's usually designing cats or dogs. Uh, that's his specialty, no doubt. And he does it quite well. This one is called Pups in the Garden. And this is a 10 skew collection that ships October of 2020. And he really does it right with the dogs. Makes me want to get a dog every time I see this. And then on the right hand side, you can see how the fabric is going to look on the bolt. And it looks very, very real. And he does a great job. And there is a picture of Bob Giordano on the right hand corner. Starting off on the left side, we have this lovely uh, panel, 24 inch panel with all the dogs frolicking and just chilling out with their quilts and uh, having a fun day. Really nice, came out really nice. That's gonna look great in the center of the quilt. And then on the right, you have um, just, it looks like the dogs are floating in the clouds and playing around frolicking, even a little bunny and a little watering can and a clothesline with the quilt on it. So he, he's throwing in the dogs and the quilts. Good, good usage, good, um, you know, definitely good motifs for our people, dog people and quilters. And then on the bottom, you have the dogs just sitting around uh, with their bones and their bowls of water. On the next page on the top, we have another running yardage block print. These blocks are nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter, and it repeats, so you get this and this, and then you get this and this again, and it keeps repeating like that uh, throughout selvage to selvage. Down here on the bottom, we have a bandana print, a plaid, uh, this little heart kind of, um, you know, cheater quilt, we could call it, because that could probably be uh, just bound, and you could make a nice quilt out of that. And then over here on the right, we have the dog grown uh, print on the beige. Uh, on the next page, you have the stripe, uh, which is on the top, you have, you know, the dogs frolicking, and then below kind of a, a quilty look uh, with these fun hearts. I'm sure uh, these designs could have a lot of usage. They'd be super versatile, and you'll be able to have a lot of fun with them. And then on the way bottom, you have the dogs again on that kind of cheater quilt uh, look. So right here, as I had predicted, the quilt uh, with the panel on the center it looks lovely as the first free project, and that was designed by Heidi Pridemore. And then the second project uh, cuts out the blocks from the running yardage, and that one came out very nice too, designed by Heidi Pridemore. On the right hand side, you could just see the actual scale of the nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter blocks. And then on the bottom, we have the stripe, so you can see how many rows you're going to get. The next line is 100% cotton quilters flower two, and quilters flower is pigment white on white. So what this is, is um, it's kind of like a paste that's on top of the fabric. Uh, typically, we get a lot of questions about this, and the answer is usually that it takes about five or more washes for the white to start fading or coming off. So I don't recommend more than five washes, and I wouldn't risk it if it's a quilt that you really love. And um, other than that, if these are safe, they're totally fine to use. We've been selling these for years, so you have nothing to worry about. This collection has 20 SKUs and ships September of 2020, and this was an in-house line. And we show these by using gray with white because obviously if we use white with white, it would be invisible and you would not be able to see anything. So that really wouldn't work out well and it would be really hard for us to sell that. So uh, let's see. So listen, you can look at these designs. They, they run the gamut from stars to uh, little 
you know, plants and leaves to just little geometrics, but a lot of fun, useful designs, and uh, these will be great. So also I'm noticing here on the lower side uh, right here, it says reprint from Quilter's Flower. That means that these were strong skews in the last group, and those are here on the right-hand side, the last four. I don't think I see any more with that. So the last four, they must have sold so well that we are bringing them back because they earned it. So there you have it. These are Pigment White on Whites, Quilter's Flower 2 by Henry Glass. Uh, Mother-daughter team, Leanne Anderson and Caitlin Kubler are back with another line, and their line is so, it's so recognizable. They have a hand and their colorway, uh, which is really amazing. I, I'm always amazed at designers, how they keep the same colorways going, and they become recognized for that, and I guess that's the whole point of it. Um, so here we go with Leanne and Caitlin. This one is called Rescued and Loved, and you can see a lovely picture of the daughter mother left to right, and uh, uh, just you can see how the fabric is going to look on the bolts. On the left side here, we start with a 24 inch panel, uh, kind of like a dog house or a pet store. I can't really see that well on my computer what it says, but uh, I guess it's, it's probably a dog hospital because it's called Rescued and Love. So really clever how they did that and they have all the pets on the different floors in looks like waiting rooms or something. And then on the bottom, on the left side page, you have the Houndstooth Basic. Pattern 8624, these are 15 yard put-ups. That is Leanne's own basic uh, under her name. On the right-hand page, we have a couple assorted dogs uh, tossed here. Uh, maybe you'll find your dog. And then there's just different words below. Hello, best friend, hugs, uh, just generic words. And then on the bottom, we have the Starry Basics, which are also by Leanne Anderson of the Whole Country Caboodle. And that is a basic that we continue to carry and goes very well with her lines. On the, left, uh, on the left side, uh, they kind of did this little patch that's very fun with, the, with all the characters. And it's nice and tossed, which is good. I know you guys always love to have a nice toss print, so it's non-directional. And then below that, we have, oops, hit the wrong button. And then below that, we have the, um, it looks like little pin cushions, but it's little hearts and paws. We have it on a green ground and then a white ground. And then below, we have this monotone on red uh, with the different pets inside the geometric shapes. And then we have the same design uh, that is in color on the right side. And then above that, we have a book, of course. Books always sell great for us. These are 36 inch panels, so they are one yard cuts. And all the instructions are there. Usually you need a little batting, some thread, a couple other things to go with. But on the bottom below, you can see right here where I'm pointing the mouse. That is where all the instructions are to put it together. This is a great item in the shop if you wanna just cut it the one yard cut and fold it up and put it in a bag. Uh, another great, you know, last minute item as people are going out the door. And then finally, we have the stripe uh, with, you know, this little aqua ground on the top with the pets looking over the, uh, over the um, you know, kind of over the wall. And then you have all the pets below and then you have some words on the bottom. And then the last two prints on blue and white are different words, uh, you know, who know, uh, who know how to, animals do speak, but only who know, or whatever. They, I can't really read it here, but it says here, a house without a pet is like a garden without flowers. So there's all kinds of cute sayings. And then on the right side here, you could read about Leanne and Caitlin, and you could see the stripe and how that, uh, how many rows you're going to get. So you could plan accordingly when you use that. And then finally, on the bottom of this last page, you can see the previous collections by the mother-daughter team. Uh, Leanne and Caitlin, Papa's Old Truck, Whirly Gig Magic, and Pet Rescue. And then on the last page, you can see these great quilts that Leanne and Caitlin designed. Uh, the first two on the left use the panel in the center. The one on the right is pieced and used as the uh, running yardage blocks that are cut out. Uh, after that, so the last thing in this lookbook is going to be the September 2020 collections. Those collections uh, we at our company will need to order at the end of May. So that's why we have that here in case you haven't ordered yet. Uh, we wanted you to see that here. And then uh, beyond that is the Jaftex, um, the notification about our Jaftex Jubilee contest. So um, that's it for me. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to be here and to listen to uh, my spiel about the Henry Glass May 2020 collections that are shipping in the last quarter of the year for the most part. 
Um, now that you've seen this, uh, we welcome you to contact your sales rep, contact customer service, order online, contact me, contact Larry, whatever we can do to make this as smooth and easy as possible so we can get these beautiful fabrics into your shop and you can continue to thrive selling the Henry Glass brand. So thanks again for your time. Hope to see you all soon. Hope you're safe. Be well. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Take care.